So when we get back from church, I'm going to make this turkey stuffed acorn squash. We've never had acorn squash before. So it's a new adventure, new recipe, all the things. <laughs> So I hope y'all enjoy this and let's get on into this it. This is what you will need. I will have the recipe down below. It's a Parmesan cheese, some ground turkey or fresh turkey. I got cornbread stuffing, two acorn squash, a little bit of olive oil, some garlic powder, some salt and pepper for a taste, some chicken stock and apple, and an onion. Now we're just going to cut the top and bottom off to give them a flat surface whenever we put them in the oven and I'm gonna let Johnny cut it because I'm not good with using the big knife. I'm just clumsy y'all and I will end up cutting myself. I did leave out a couple of ingredients I wish I would have added now like the recipe said but here I just put the olive oil and salt and pepper on the inside and just all the way around the outside. Put it in the oven at 400 for about an hour then I'm just gonna put the sliced onion and a pan with some butter then just go ahead and add your ground turkey to your pan then add a little bit of garlic powder on top for seasoning and my turkey was a little bit froze but that's okay i did use a little bit of badia complete with this because i just thought it might be a little bit bland i did want more of a flavor per se and, and add your little salt and pepper if you would like you don't have to it's optional now all I did was make the stuffing recommended like on the box besides the one cup of water or cup and a half of water excuse me I put that chicken broth in there and you just chop up the apple in little tiny pieces as you see the little white specks mix it all together when your ground beef is done and the parmesan is just add a little bit on top now I think personally this could have used a little bit of gravy or something but but overall was good and this is a ground turkey sweet potato soup now this is all the ingredients you will need I really enjoyed this I didn't think I would but the sweet potatoes y'all it really really surprised me so you just need some beef broth butter of course ground turkey some onion went ahead and peeled and chopped up the sweet potatoes now i have the recipe down below also now you just want to melt your butter put your turkey in there and then add that whole onion this was one large and i mean large onion i used to think of vidalia onion if i believe now I've got some water. I am going to just add it to my pot and get these sweet potatoes going as the meat cooks. And you just want to add really it's four cups of beef broth or beef stock. Whatever one you have on hand. I like using these little packets. It just tastes better to me. And I do change up the recipe a little bit to kind of make it my own. But everything is pretty much the same because I want to go with the recipe itself. To see how it tasted and I did wind up using unsalted butter I kind of switched it up like I said and it called for like one fourth of a cup and that's what I added just not the salted I'm trying to go back on the salt a little bit and what I did different was I added paprika to the turkey burger and sweet potatoes that's why I hate following directions but yeah I mess up all the time now I'm just adding all the rest of the ingredients. It was around one teaspoon of coriander, two teaspoons of cumin, and that four teaspoons of paprika. I think I actually added four to each pot. <laughs> but it's all good because, like I said, it came out really, really good, y'all. And I used eight cups of sweet potatoes is what actually what it called for, but I believe I used five big sweet potatoes because that's all i had and also this recipe calls for two cups of rice now i used my instapot for this and i made about four cups of rice because y'all know how big my family is and with the garlic y'all i yeah it don't really call for garlic garlic is just my thing and i love it in soups so i just kind of went with what my instinct said and I believe it was a tablespoon of garlic a piece and you don't have to use it I just love garlic and so does my family and with this you can use any type of broth you would like I use beef but you can also use chicken or turkey or anything else you would like and as you can see I sprinkled some of that badia complete on this also but now that I got the meat cooked I dumped 
this all together and I'm gonna let this cook for about an hour and a half and then I'm gonna put a little bit of rice in it. I will definitely be making this again. It is so good. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I guess I'll see y'all on the next one. Thank you.